And yes, recovery from narcissism can feel like you're trying to unravel a riddle that's just wrapped in enigma while you're wearing a blindfold. It can feel like that. It absolutely can. And it's difficult. It's actually really difficult to make that transition from narcissism victim to narcissism survivor. And because that part of it is it's just like a double whammy of a trauma. And when you're on the path of recovery, you know, it can feel like it can feel like a drunken ride on through the set of a Mad Max film. Going from victim to survivor isn't just a step. It's not just a step for mankind. No, it's a giant leap for you and your life and your sanity. Because what does that mean? It means being able to break free from, you know, the chains that once bound you to this toxic person. While you're, while you're trying to escape from this just topsy-turvy, you know, narcissistic nightmare. And the reality is, the reality is, the reality is that narcissism survivors, they face an uphill battle. And it's a battle that's invisible to just most people because they just don't understand unless they've actually been through it themselves. And it's like, you know, trying to I explain the existence of Bigfoot and all you have as evidence is a blurry photo. Because the scars, the scars from the verbal and the psychological abuse from narcissism, it's just, it's not visible. And society tends to dismiss them as if, you know, the pain that you carry inside you doesn't even matter because it can't be measured with bruises and broken bones. It's psychological trauma. Then unless you're actually suffering from it, it's like it's almost impossible for someone to understand. So narcissistic verbal and, you know, psychological torment, well, those are often just mere whispers in the wind to most people. And trying to understand it can almost be like, you know, to someone else, be like trying to catch smoke with your bare hand. As soon as you reach out for it, it disappears. And these forms of narcissistic abuse are often overlooked. And it's too many people um, just mislabel it. And it can feel like to the victim to be victim blaming. And society at times just basically turns a blind eye. There's just so much chaos there. There's so much misunderstanding. It's just like they both of you must be nuts. And the narcissist seems to be the calmer of the two post-narcissism. So we might as well listen to the calmer one. That's, that's wrong. Because the horror, the horror that the victims are experiencing is, is real. And to the victim, the loneliness that they feel, not being understood, but trying to explain narcissism to people that just don't understand it. And nobody believes. And, you know, if you actually look at what a monumental task it is to exit these relationships, it makes complete sense for why these relationships are so hard to get out of. Now, I want to talk about how narcissists, you know, exploit disbelief. And it's almost like they have a PhD in, you know, manipulation with a minor in, you know, societal deception. Narcissists feed on skepticism of others, using it as a shield just to basically to hide behind. Narcissists are just such masters of gaslighting. They make you doubt your own reality. So you can imagine the people around you are starting to doubt their reality and your reality in the process. Getting people to understand it is like asking them, hey, can you, can you help me clean this porta potty over there? And they'll be like, oh, yeah, sorry, I got, uh, I got that thing. <laughs> I can't make it, you know, it's that, that thing I, I meant to tell you. And narcissistic, you know, gaslighting is such a manipulative dance. It reminds me of, you know that Jamiroquai video, Virtual Insanity, where he's just kind of dancing around and the walls are shifting everywhere that he's going? Well, that's what it feels like for the victim. It's a constant struggle to understand where the walls are moving, what direction they're going to go. All while you're trying to just basically just stay on your feet and just keep moving, desperately trying not to lose your footing. When no one else can see the reality that you're in, that false reality, that warped dimension that was just created and spun out of thin air. And these manipulative tactics that narcissistic abusers use? Yeah, well, you know what that feels like? It feels like you're playing this never-ending game of chess, and yet you're always the pawn. Narcissists create, you know, insecurities and doubts within your head and create fears that not your self-esteem. And they're like a relentless swarm of mosquitoes that just keep biting and biting and little tiny pricks here and there, here and there, here and there. So you're just covered in them. And then your system is sensitive and swollen. And narcissists, they play this weird twisted game, like re really weird twisted game where, you know, they delude us into believing that, you know, they're doing everything for our betterment. You know, it's, 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 I'm doing this so you can be a better person. Yeah, I'm hard on you, but it's because I care about you and I want you to, I want you to change. I want you to be a better and a better person somehow. And, you know, it feels like, it feels like you're in a marathon where the finish line just keeps moving. As soon as you think you understand as far as you need to go and then just to get validation, all of a sudden the finish line just keeps moving forward, moving forward. Narcissists are constantly using abuse that is just wrapped in a lie 
that they're trying to make you a better person. <laughs> and they do it by making you meet these ever-changing, ever-shifting demands of the narcissist. That they just change like that in a snap, a little figure, just boom. As soon as you think, oh, I, is this what you wanted? Oh, you wanted this. Is this what you wanted? Oh, you mean you wanted that? Even if you were to go back in time, if you had the ability to rewind and go back in time and do the same action twice, what you realize is both times you'd be wrong. If there was two options, if there was an A and a B, and the first time you go in there and you say, A is what you asked for, right? And they go, of course not, I asked for B. And then if you were to rewind and you were to go back in time and you were to say, hey, here's that B you asked for. It's like, what do you mean? I said A, I always said A. It's like, that's, that's what it is. That's what it means to have the rules keep changing because the narcissists at their core can never be happy. And if they're not happy, there has to be a reason. There has to be a reason that you failed them in some way. And that's good enough for them. And the reality is narcissists never really evolve past, you know, just the entitlement phase. They're just constantly stuck in this, you know, cycle of, you know, just self-centeredness, unable to just see beyond their own narcissistic needs and desires. And then you start to ask yourself, what about that, you know, promised partnership the narcissist, you know, love bombed us into believing? What happened to that story? And how did that story that seems so beautiful, so wonderful, suddenly just gets turned into this twisted little power play? It's like you get sold tickets to see a movie for a rom-com and then you're halfway through, neck deep into a psychological thriller. The love that you thought you had with a narcissist just turns into a manipulation game. Just a way that they could just sink their claws into you and just turn you back into that pawn, constantly being pushed back into that pawn role. You didn't start this game as a pawn. You were deserving of love, honor, respect, to have your needs and, and desires fulfilled. And they weren't, were they? And it doesn't end when the relationship ends. Post-relationship, narcissists can become just relentless stalkers. They become harassers. It's like having a shadow that just never goes away. It's like a ghost from your past that you just can't seem to walk away from. It's just constantly haunting you at every single step. And it's just having them there in your back of your mind, in your history, in your story, is just a constant chilling reminder of the power that the narcissist once held over you. Power that you can get back, but it wasn't power that you lost at some point. And that's hard to take. And the narcissists are brilliant at victim blaming. Because narcissists seem to always, whatever story gets told and twisted, it's just like from the narrative of them being the victim, always. And it's trying to defend yourself in a courtroom where the judge, the jury, and all of them are all involved in this narcissistic conspiracy. And survivors of narcissistic abuse are often, you know, accused of actually being the problem, of provoking the abuse, or being willing participants in it. And all of it is just a cruel, distorted version of reality, a complete distortion. And why do they think that they're the victims? Because, you know, what they expect is not unconditional love. They want unconditional acceptance and unconditional tolerance of their bad behavior. And if you don't give it to them, then, oh, that was, the, that was written in the fine print. Really tiny, itty-bitty, small. You need, like, a magnifying glass or, or just a microscope to see it. Because it wasn't there Well, we were just forming these relationships. It just was there the whole time that they see it or they added it later. Who knows what goes on through their head? I don't even think they know. And a big part of it is the way the narcissistic mind works and the way the narcissistic mind thinks. It's just like they're, they're, they're just masters at, you know, pathologizing emotions and rewriting reality, rewriting history. They remember things that don't even happen, that never happen. They invent flaws and justify reactions to things that they imagined, that they thought one day was true. And just like they have a magic wand that just turns all your feelings into an illness and your truth into fiction. And they create a narrative that only suits their narcissistic agenda, uh, regardless of actual facts, actual photos, actual messages, actual... Those aren't important. This is what I'm thinking now. And what I was thinking before was... Before. <laughs> like, okay. Like, oh, man. <laughs> it's, it's just so bad. And when it comes to accountability and consequences, well, narcissists have just a version to, to both. They, they, it's just like, ah, accountability, no, consequences, no. I'm trying to teach uh, a narcissist um, accountability and consequences. You might as well just try to train a cat how to go get your morning newspaper. They're just going to sit there and they're just going to look at you and just refuse to play by the rules. It's like you're speaking a different language to them because I don't think their minds can actually create a definition or a firm understanding of what that is. So narcissism survivors and those on the path to becoming one, just I want you to remember this. Remember this. The journey from victim to survivor is a treacherous one. It is. It's not going to be easy. But in taking on that journey is also a testament to your strength, 
to your courage, your ability to stand up for yourself. It's about, you know, rising up from the ashes and discovering your own resilience, discovering your own identity. The part of you that cannot be destroyed by a narcissist is what is left after the narcissist. And that's a powerful self. Now remember, it's just like, you're not the only one. You're not alone in this journey. There's just a community of survivors out there who just understand the battles that you've fought and know exactly what you've been through. And together, you know, we can shed light onto the shadows of all this narcissistic abuse. And we can break free from the chains uh, and just embrace what is our survivorship. So, you know, thanks for watching. If you haven't already, please, you know, like, follow, comment. Tell me exactly what you think. I want to know. There's more to come because this is a really powerful story of going from a victim to a survivor.